জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কর্মহীন বেকার হয়ে ঘরে বসে থাকব না ছবি আঁকো না বিত্তহীন নিঃস্ব বলে স্বপ্ন হারাব না আমরা হতাশ হব না এই কথাটা মনে রেখো ইচ্ছা থাকলে উপায় হয় দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি দারিদ্র করেছি জয় সংসার আনন্দময় কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি কাজ করি জীবন গড়ি Hello, hello. Hey there, sister. Want to buy some chicken? English chickens. Only 150 bucks a kilo. You want? What difference does it make whether the chickens are English or local? We can't even manage two square meals a day. And you come to tell me about chickens? What's going on here, Parvati? Here you go. Got this from Bazaar. Oh, hello there, Shadamiya. Have you come to visit us with some chickens? That's very kind of you. Ah. Bless you. It's been ages since we had chicken. Oh, he didn't come bearing gifts for us. These chickens are for sale. Oh, I thought. Where is my sari? Hmm? I will get you one. The next day, the bazaar opens for business. You have been singing the same song for the last six months. Next time, next time. When is that gonna come, you suppose? Scream at me all you want later. But please, at least don't insult me in front of Shadamiya. Can't even buy your own wife a decent sari to wear and you are worried about saving face in front of outsiders? Is there any difference between your esteem and insult since you can't even manage to give a sari to your wife? The truth is, sister, your family is in poverty. It's getting difficult for brother Deepak to run the family on a single income. How about you start working too? What are you suggesting? That I start working as a day laborer like the men? Shall I go to the crop field and work as a day laborer like your brother? I would rather die without food before letting her work in the crop fields in such inhuman conditions. You know, you could start working on batik prints sitting right here at home. Hmm, so how does it really work? It works by making designs on clothes by using wax and color. The expenses are very low, but you can earn a hefty profit. You can set it up at home. Well then, I will learn how to make batik print. Good decision! Now, keep these two chickens. You can pay me back when you start reaping the profits from batik prints. Shadamiya! Super! Alright then, I will be having dinner with you guys today. Then, we can go to the training center to learn about batik prints. To make a cloth valuable and attractive, Different colorful designs are made on the clothes. This process is called batik print. A lot of profit can be generated with only a small investment. Anybody can do this work for the entire year sitting at home and earn extra income. To do batik printing, you will always need the following. Table, ruler, bowl, cooking pot, brush, designs, painting brush, earthen heart or stove for cooking, jaunting, plastic gloves, bucket, spoon, iron, etc. The raw materials necessary to do the batik printing job are tracing paper, newspaper, carbon paper, washing soda, pencil, monopole soap, fine gum, eraser, white wax, brown wax or honeycomb wax, dye, sodium mononitrate, salt, caustic soda, resin, kerosene, soap, sulfuric acid, detergent powder, robin blue, cloth, dyeing fixol, etc. 
If you free the gum from the cloth, dye stick to the threads firmly. To free the cloth of gum, you need to have boiled water, detergent powder, washing soda, and water as necessary. You have to wash the cloth after wetting the cloth in normal water. And then, after boiling water in the cooking pot, you have to mix the necessary amount of washing soda and detergent powder in the boiled water and stir the cloth. Then you have to keep the cloth soaked for 30 minutes and dry it after washing it thoroughly. Gum-free cloth will be ready for printing after ironing the cloth. At first, let us all know the names of the materials that are needed to wax the cloth. The materials are pencil, carbon paper, tracing paper, robin blue, kerosene, design, paraffin, honeycomb wax, resin, cloth, brush, stove, and frame. We have to draw the design well on the cloth with the help of a pencil, carbon, or tracing paper where we want to wax the cloth. By perforating the tracing paper and wetting a piece of light cloth in robin blue and kerosene oil together, if we rub it on the tracing paper, the design would appear on the cloth. We have to frame the cloth tightly with the frame or by pinning it. Then we have to mix 250 grams of paraffin, 125 grams of honeycomb wax and 62 grams of resin in a cooking pot. Pouring a teaspoonful of water into the mixture and heat that on a burning stove. When the mixture melts down, we have to take out the melted wax to another pot slowly. The wax would not be blackened if you do this. After that, we have to coat the melted wax carefully on the design with the help of a painting brush. If you coat wax onto a wrong place, you can remove the wax by putting a blotting paper on that spot and hot ironing on top of it. Instead of using a brush, you can use a jaunting as well to coat the wax on the cloth after pouring liquid wax into it. After you have finished waxing a side of the cloth, you have to do the same on the hide side after turning the cloth upside down. You have to coat wax onto the design again for the second time. After waxing, you have to keep the cloth at a shady place for 12 hours. Or, you can wet the cloth in water for an hour and then you can dye the cloth after the wax dries. You can buy many colorful dyes in the market or you can make it for yourself too. To make it yourself, you have to buy five colors. They're red, blue, yellow, purple and black. You can make new colors following the process mentioned in the chart below. If you do the batik printing business, how about I help you with that? How exactly? I will supply you with the dyes and designs for your batik printing job. So you want some business too? Yes, I have some savings from the salary I get from working for Sister Kohinoor. I would supply dyes and designs to you investing that money. And that way we can both benefit. And how exactly am I benefited? Well, you don't have to make long treks to the district centers. You will get the materials at market price plus I will also help you prepare the colors however and whenever you want it. Is that true? Do you really know how to make colors? Quiz me if you don't believe me. Okay, tell me how to make the color orange. If you mix two portions of yellow with one portion of red, then the color of the dye would be orange. An hour is needed in steps to dye cloth in Prussian method. At first, you have to sink the cloth in normal water for 10 minutes. Then mix dye in 62 ml of hot boiled water in a pot. Pour the dyed water in a big pot at normal water with the dyed emulsion as needed so that the cloth you will dye can be adequately sunk in that emulsion. Pour the cloth in it. Wet and stir it well for 15 minutes. Now take out the cloth from the bucket, add 9 teaspoonful of salt in that emulsion and sink the cloth again in that dyed water and let it get wet and stir that for 15 more minutes. 
Now, take out the cloth from the bucket, add two teaspoonful of soda in that dyed water, sink the cloth again in that soda, add it dyed water and keep it there for 15 minutes. After that, stir the cloth and keep it in that emulsion again for 15 minutes. After that, take out the cloth from the dyed water and compress the cloth lightly. Now, take normal water as needed so that the cloth can be properly sunk. Add dyeing fix all similar to the amount of dyes you have used to prepare the color earlier in the water and mix it properly. Sink the cloth in that mixture and keep it there for 30 minutes. Dyeing fix all is used to make the temporary dye permanent. Now let the wet cloth drop down the water it contains by hanging it on a nylon rope after taking it out from the dyed water. Dry the cloth well at a shady place for 24 hours. Have to sink the cloth for 30 minutes in normal water for the removal of the wax from the dried cloth. Continue washing the cloth in normal water as long as dyes are seen coming off the cloth. Wash the cloth again and again until clear water emerges from the cloth. Take 3 to 4 liters of hot boiled water in a cooking pot. Dissolve and mix 1 fourth of a washing soap into that water. Put the cloth into that hot water when the soap is adequately mixed. Boil the cloth for 10 to 15 minutes. If all the wax does not remove properly, repeat the process. After all the wax is removed, wash the cloth again in normal water and dry it at a shady place. Gum the cloth, dry the gummed cloth at a shady place and iron it. And this is when the whole batik printing process will finish. The methods of multicolored batik print are if we want to dye different parts of the cloth's design with different colors. We have to put it in the light colors of dyes first and then the darker colors gradually. For example, if we would like to dye our cloth in four colors such as white, yellow, green and red, we have to draw the four color design on a piece of white cloth first and then we have to decide as to which color would we like to apply on which part of the design. Now, we have to wax and dry the part of the design that we would want to stay white. Now, we have to follow the process of Prussian dyeing method to get the cloth dyed in yellow. After the yellow color on the cloth dries, we have to cover the part with coats of wax including the white part design. And then we have to apply blue dye on the cloth following the same process. The cloth will get green colored after mixing yellow and blue on it. Now, we have to cover the white, yellow and green parts of the cloth with coats of wax and dye it in red. We have to remove the wax from the cloth following the guidelines of removing wax as described earlier. We have to wash the cloth well in normal water and gum it. After that, we have to dry the four colored dyed cloth keeping that at a shady place. And lastly, we have to iron it when it dries. You can also make batik prints on different parts of your cloth by painting it with a brush. Draw the design on the surface of the cloth. Decide the colors of the paints that you want to apply on different parts of the cloth. Now, paint the parts of the design as per your choice of colors. Keep a newspaper under the cloth while painting. Get the cloth dry in a shady place after coloring it. Cover all the painted and dried colors with wax. After the wax gets dry, sink it in color dyed water of another who. The color you will get because of doing this is the color of the body of the cloth. Remove the wax from the color and get it dried. At last, get it ironed and fold neatly. Remember, you have to dip the cloth for a day in water so that there are no granules or crystals remaining when you make batik prints using fine gum. If you want to do the job quickly, you can use alginate instead. If you want to dye your cloth with a very high quality, it is better to do that using Neptol method. Silk cloths are usually dyed and batik printed in this method. Iron your clothes well after you have finished making the batik print on them. You have to fold the clothes neatly and properly. Pack them up nicely so that the clothes remain clean and in good condition. Packaging them well will attract more customers and you will also get a good price for it. There is high demand for these kinds of products both with the wholesalers and the retailers. Plus, they are also very popular in many different fairs 
and temporary bazaars. You have to spend 37,542 taka to make batik prints on 75 saris. You can earn a profit of about 15,000 taka in a month by selling those saris. Now let us see how the profit can be made. The income and expenditure accounts of 75 sari print. Hello there Deepak, Parvati, how are you? We are very well now sister, by your blessings of course. What would have happened to us if you didn't teach us batik print? Sister, we got your present. Wow, it's a batik printed sari. How nice. No, no, no. I can't take this. You would miss out on selling it. No, no. Please do accept our gift. I insist. Sister, they would get hurt if you don't take it. Sister, because of you, we are now the owner of a batik printing factory. Start your own batik printing job and breeze of happiness will enter your home. It is easy and profitable highly. There won't be poverty in your family. 